Okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, one last thing in the viewing and navigation chapter, and that's the notion of view frustum. And uh, this is the volume that, could, that represents what's seeable, what's viewable by the user, and what is uh, truncated. So we have a diagram here on the board. So you have a near clipping plane and far clipping plane. You can think of the near clipping plane as something that's just in front of the screen uh, where you're viewing. And that tells the browser that anything closer than that distance is not going to be drawn. And, uh, that's because uh, computationally it's actually a very helpful thing to uh, draw out stuff there and draw out stuff that's farther away so that things on either side uh, don't have to be drawn. And that's, that notion of clipping is uh, general, in fact, not just for the view cluster, but how do we avoid trying to draw things that will never actually make it into pixels. Just the act of computing all of the vertices and the normals and the lighting and the coloring and everything else takes time. So if we can be judicious about what to draw, then that's faster. So calling clipping that we usually don't have to worry about but occurs anyway is stuff that's behind the camera and stuff that maybe is obscure. There are special techniques where if uh, we're just looking at the walls of the room, we don't have to draw the rest of the city behind it sometimes that, that can be used. But here's, here's the basic notion. Now, since that is essentially invisible when, uh, when you're in the world, uh, you might say, well, I guess we don't need to know where it is because we're always in a viewpoint and that's just what we see. And that's, that's basically correct. But it, as an author, you might want to know what is visible from different viewpoints that you put into the world. So that's always a little bit tricky. Now, we've, we have gone through the different parameters in uh, viewpoint and navigation info to see how they fit. I've got them uh, elaborated here on this slide that says uh, uh, avatar size zero, the first element of that is our near distance. Visibility limit is where we capture the uh, um, our clipping plane. And then given that you also have a field of view, which is the width of how big your window is, is taking a look at, then uh, that's, that's uh, computable then that you can figure out just how big the view frustum is. Now that's not a very common task, so uh, what we've done, what I've done is actually take a, look at, take a look at an advanced technique which is called prototypes. And prototypes are where we uh, define new nodes. And so this is just a look ahead at the last chapter, the advanced techniques about when you define a new node in terms of other nodes. There's a bunch of details here, but uh, basically it is, we define what the parameters of our new node are, the, the fields that uh, control it. And you can see here that we give it a viewpoint and we give it a navigation info node. We also give it some information on how to color it. What color would the lines would be? What color would the walls of the frustrum be? Um, whether or not there's any transparency on the frustrum. And uh, what our assumed aspect ratio is for the uh, view frustum since since there's no way of knowing really in advance how big the u end user's window will be where they look at your thing. So this uh, uh, prototype constructs both lines and polygons to view it. Uh, here's a piece of JavaScript that does the math and uh, it looks like a lot, but it's really not that bad, just computing where each of those polygons and where each of those lines might be. And then finally, to use it, we simply refer to it, meaning you would copy this extern proto declare block, and then you could copy this proto instance block, and you would have this tool 
in your scene. So let's take a closer look at this guy. Um, and I'm, I'm in the directory now in, the, in chapter 14. And if we look at uh, the images in that directory, we can see that, oh, actually the, uh, the figures are in there too. Here's the first figure. How did we compute what the uh, width of these guys are? And then I have two snapshots. We have an overhead view, uh, which shows uh, what it looks like above, and then in a light view. So let's let's pull up this overhead view a little bit. And you can see again, looking straight down on the viewpoint, there's a little sphere here at the bottom which would be the center of where that view frustum comes together. You can think of it as a truncated, four-sided pyramid would be another way to think of it. And then the other figure is, what does it look like from behind? It sort of an oblique view looking down on it. So let's test the darn thing itself. View frustum example this is our test scene. I'm gonna launch this out in uh, uh, let's see, I think Octaga is the player of the day. That's the one that does best on this. So here we can see this example, and, and what we're looking at is a viewpoint that's basically the default viewpoint and the default uh, navigation info settings. So the viewpoint here is right at 0, 0, 0010. If I uh, rotate around the scene a little bit, we can see that, okay, those are 10 meters on a side, or actually 20 meters on a side. Each little white block is uh, one meter. If we'd help to turn off the lights, let's, let's go ahead and do that. No, I think it's probably better. Why don't, you, why don't you check it, Jeff, make sure it adjusts properly. But yeah, this is a kind of a dark scene. You can turn them all off, Ken. Let's give it a shot. Okay, that, that should be a little more, uh, viewable now. So you can see the z-axis coming down here. We're looking at it from above. We're high, up, high above the y-axis. So there's our viewpoint right at 0, 0, 010, the default location, and it's looking back towards the origin. So you can see this is a nice uh, handy little visualization tool. Uh, here's what it would look like uh, uh, from behind the viewpoint and then right at the viewpoint. At this point, we're inside the, the little sphere at 0, 0, 0010. And here we are above again. Now you can also see that I've uh, artificially truncated this guy at a 15, minute, 15 meter range. Okay, why? Well, just so we could see it. The normal visibility limit is zero, which corresponds to G Mr. Graphics card draw as far, far as you can on that, but um, um, that's a little less visible. So you can test it. If you put that in, it'll, it'll draw it out to 10,000 meters as an approximation of almost infinite. we have the lights back, please? Okay, so again, uh, here's the view frustum exp explained just a little bit more. If you did want to use this in your scene, it's a, it's a copy-paste exercise. You would copy this block for the extern proto declare, which tells your browser where to find it. And then finally, uh, a proto instance, which creates a copy of that new node, a view frustrum node, which lets us visualize where that is. Okay, and uh, 